Okay, in this tutorial, we're going to take a look at face loops. And these are really important for editing your models, for keeping nice, clean models, and especially if we're using quads, which we typically use all the time. All right. Some programs don't use quads, but quads are the preferred way amongst many modelers. All right, so what I have here is these face loops selected here. I have that one selected and another one selected this way. And what's happening is this is just a cube that's been subdivided. So if I had added a cube to the scene like this, if you're new to this, I'll just scale that down and get a modifier and I'll just subdivide it twice like that and apply it. And there it is, the same thing. All right. So that's all I did for this object here. All right. So the nice thing about that is it does allow us access to these face loops. In fact, you can see this little point right in here, like this, is kind of the splitting line. Because if I press, if I'm in face select mode and I hold down the Alt key, it's making face loops either this way or this way, like this, or it's making face loops across like that. But sometimes you, within your modeling, sometimes you want to be do a little different. Maybe I want this face loop to keep coming around, but you notice at this point coming upward it's not going to do that like if I try and grab this face loop here it's going all the way around the model or this one here it's going all the way around the model and that's because of this one little edge right here see when it gets to this point it's not a loop anymore because it's this edge is not connected to this edge whereas that's edge to edge to edge to edge so but in here it's here's an edge and suddenly uh, there's that open thing it's still a quad in here but it's not connected and that's the same with all these up here if I wanted to work in here and have this section to have face loops like for instance if I wanted each one of these like this to be part of a face loop that I can control in my building then that's not going to work because here's that edge not connected to that edge so somehow you need a way to get the edges to connect to each other to, in order to create a face loop Otherwise, it just simply doesn't work, all right? So you can either cut things out, delete things, or let's, I mean, there's many ways to do it, but let's just cut a face out. Let's just, we'll cut out that face. And really what I'm saying is I want that, that edge to be attached to that edge somehow, all right? So, well, therein lies the trick. Well, how do you do it? Well, okay, let's try it a couple ways. We could either come up to this way, we grab this, and we can move it over here, right? And you can see where I'm going to get closer. I'm just showing this for illustration purposes. So then if that was to connect to that, then that would be part of that. Well, wait a sec. We could do that. We could just do that, that, and have them both selected and press Control-V, and we could merge, let's say, at the center like that. And so suddenly this is now connected here like this. And let's move this out of the way a little bit like that. And then that starts to connect around like that. All right, so you see where that loop is starting to come into play. Like this, I could do the same thing down here. I could go grab a, I could grab that face, and that face, and that face like that. And I'm going to X faces only, only the faces here like this. I'm just going to do the. Then I'm going to go into vertex select, grab that. Whoops, grab that vertex, that vertex, Control V, and merge at the center. I'm going to go grab that vertex, that vertex, control V, merge at the center. And the same with that. That vertex, that vertex, control V, merge at the center. Like that. And suddenly I have created a loop because now each edge is going all the way around. So now if I'm in face select mode, then I should be able to just grab this edge holding down the Alt key. And now I have my edge all the way around like this. All right. So that doesn't really help me with everything else. But what it does help you with, though, is if you created the basic loop, like this then what you can do is you can get rid of all these like maybe I'll just go into vertex select mode like that uh, you see and I'll just grab all these these guys in here and I'll just X all those vertices out and then that leaves me this edge so then I can come back into edge select here and whoops grab that edge here and then I can do my extrusions inward from here so I could just do E Oops, I'll just E and leave it in place, and then I'll do S Shift Z, and then I scale it up, and then E, leave it in place, S Shift Z, right? Or you can do it sometimes, it's easier if I just go back to here. I'll just press E and left click. Now it's in place, there's a copy of it, and then I'll do S Shift Z and move it all the way in like that. And then what I could do is I could do my Control R's and add some 
faces in like that and do some other kind of thing. Maybe I'll grab this portion like this and go into uh, editing mode, maybe spherical, right? And then GZ, just get it down like that and control that shape how I want. But I mean, there's lots of ways. But the point being is that once I have it, now I have, now I have loops all the way these guys, I have these kind of loops all the way around, and I now have face loops all the way around, so I can control that editing as well. Okay, well, I hope that gives you some ideas about building your own models, and I'll see you in the next lesson.